Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Good, good morning. So I bump. I need to say good, good morning. So I bump into this product. I saw this tripod, and I feel it's so good. So it all start from here. And then uh, I ask why there is such a thing, and this lady tell me it's her personal product. And then I start to know she's a, a teacher and teaching animation, and that is such a, a, a cute tool. So all start from here. I have not yet know anything about you, so maybe you can introduce yourself. Yeah, absolutely. My name is Nick Han, and I am a visual arts teacher. I has have been for 20 years. I currently work for a company called Moxie Box Art, and I create art kits for kids. But today I'm talking about a lot of different things, but one thing is stop motion animation. So I'm t I'm introducing that how I brought it into my classroom, kindergarten through fifth grade. Oh my. Animation movie is one of the most frustrating because it, uh, it just, uh, you need to get a fixed movement, you need to get a smooth movement, fixed object. How do you manage from a chaos kind of situation? Maybe you just talk some high level and later we will go there to see. Yeah. Um, I embrace the chaos, actually. That's a large part of it. It is chaotic. It's an energetic, and it's and that's what is beautiful about it. Um, so for my elementary, a lot of times I'll do a couple of things where I let them discover. I say, here's the stop motion animation. Here's some things. Go do it without instruction. And then I give them 10 minutes to come back, and then we have that discussion. Well, how do I do this? And then usually another student is able to give that example and, and explain it. Um, another thing I do is I make, that, make the older kids figure out how they're going to set up their set. So I don't give them any instructions. What this does is it allows them to discover how to do this at home with their own things um, so they can bring this, this skill that they're learning and they can practice it at home. If we use a stand that is formal and, and only in the classroom, sometimes that limits their creativity. They don't think that they can bring it outside of the classroom. Another thing, as a co-teacher, mm -hmm. as a fellow teacher, mm -hmm. one thing I cherish the most is the children's, their creativity, and from their heart. How do you uh, find a story, or do you have a fixed topic, so students do the same thing, or you have a clear guidance, or you let them bring their story? Great question. Mm -hmm. So the question is, uh, do I do I plan this ahead of time or do I do this uh, allow them to have more autonomy on what they're doing both so a lot of times I it depends on how much time I have to give to stop-motion animation if I have several days I allow them to do some exploration then develop their story and then create their final project if it is a quick thing just to learn the skill then I'm doing most of the planning so they just have the creativity of like knowing how to use the tool so it depends what the goal is um, and I've also done a lot of collaborative projects where I have students um, work together or do different parts like we did um, building a taco so you're going to do uh, browning the meat and you're going to do cutting the tomato and you're going to do and then they send it to me no, and we put I it all to together st yes I what? to stop you why is it just stop? Are we talking about the animation taco? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I guess in that meant different. Taco. <laughs> different. <laughs> but same. <laughs> it was engaging. Yes, yeah. exactly. So that was uh, looking at what they're engaged with is also a secondary thing um, to keep them excited about it. But yeah. a lot of times students will go home and they'll fall in love with this and they'll yeah. create it at home as well. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So when I do this kind of project, mm -hmm. I try first at home. Yeah, oh, many absolutely. Times. <laughs> many times. <laughs> yes. And uh, well, sometimes it goes wrong. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing, I prepare the material. I do not prepare the idea, mm -hmm. roughly idea. Mm -hmm. So they will have their own things, right? Yes, yep. Yeah. yeah, yep. And like I said, it really depends on what the goal is. I'm allergic to clay. Oh, oh. And so another art teacher and myself, we switch for a week. 
where she comes and teaches every kid in my school about clay and then I go to her room and teach every kid about stop motion animation that is fast so it's it's a lot of preparing on my end just so that the kids get that touch of stop motion animation while I'm with them for that one hour so I am not allergic to clay but but you don't like it? <laughs> oh. That's, That's funny. such a teacher scene. Okay, so shall we do a demo of, uh, of your project? You have the sure, and the, I'd like to mention that you can find more information about stop motion animation and other lessons that I've done at Mini Matisse Art on Instagram. And I also have YouTube as well. So Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So unfortunately, I do not have time to to make a, a recording of her demo. But uh, <laughs> I am in another meeting. But uh, it's just so uh, interesting. I got to see her watercolor painting. I got to see her uh, other uh, Instagram. Instagram posting about other artwork. This place is just full of uh, inspiring and interesting people. So talented. Okay, I am ready for another meeting. In front of me is a fantastic artist. So this is such a fantastic artist. I, it's just so many things. Bye bye friends. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do. Goodbye bye. bye. <laughs>